I know a lot of people don't understand me, but I do identify as Korean. And I do look Korean now. I do look Korean now. I do look Korean now. Bitch, where? <laughs> you look Korean? No, no, no. After each and every surgery, you're looking like if Pennywise a clown and the Wicked Witch of the West had a child. To be honest, Ollie looks like a slightly more human version of the nun. Ollie London's gotta be related to processed cheese because they got enough plastic on their face that even global warming is taking notes. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Iron Steph and you guys. For today's video, we got a fun one. We're gonna be taking a look at the legend themselves Ollie London. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw that the literal god of cooking oils commented on one of my TikToks, my inner fanboy came out and I might have pissed my pants just a little bit. Anyway, so a few months ago, Ollie London dropped a diss track on a bunch of creators such as iNabber and Anna Lee. And to be honest, I kind of was offended that I wasn't in the diss track. I guess I haven't roasted them enough. So with that being said, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a bunch of Ollie London's TikToks, YouTube videos, and other types of videos, and just having a good laugh. But just a heads up, I just like to apologize in advance for all the roasts I'm gonna be doing, because I know roasting plastic isn't good for the environment. Now before we get into this, be sure to leave a like on my video and subscribe if you haven't already, or else Ollie London will adopt you. Listen to me now. Nah, 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 this is cringe. This is not the way I want to start the video. Right now, Ali London reminds me of one of those old grandpas on TikTok who go viral simply for the fact that they probably don't even know they went viral. Wait, hold on. I thought Jimin was Ollie's husband. But if Jimin is now apparently Ollie's dad, doesn't that make it... Guys, I'm just with Jimin. I'm touching Jimin's hands. Jimin has been here, guys. Look, this is actually Jimin's handprints, but my hand is a little bit too big, so I think I need hand surgery to make my hand smaller. But Oh my god. Okay, so at first I thought Ollie was joking about the hand surgery, but then I came to the realization that this is Ollie London we're talking about. Anything is possible. We're talking about the man who got 18 facial surgeries to turn themselves into quote unquote Korean slash Jimin. They went from looking like the guy in high school who would do people's homework so he doesn't get a wedgie to looking like a gargoyle. Now to looking like, as I said earlier, a slightly more human version of the nun. It's gonna come to a point where all these shaves so much of their face off that they look like that chocolate obsessed grandma from SpongeBob. Is there a thing called entire body surgery? I hope so because I like them to turn all the London into the size of an ant so I can't hear them speak anymore. I'm Oli London, I'm a British K-pop singer and a TikTok star. Okay, wait a second. I thought Oli London was Korean, but didn't they just say... I'm a British K-pop singer, British K-pop singer, British, British, British... Ha! Oli London exposed himself. I'm feeling really good. I'm, for the first time in my life, I feel beautiful. You know, I'm looking in the mirror and I love the way I look. Why the fuck you lying? Did Oli just say they feel beautiful? Tell me a better joke. If the K-pop singing doesn't work out, which I mean it probably won't, considering the fact that Ali can't even speak Korean, I recommend that they go into stand-up comedy. You know who was a great stand-up comedian? Arthur Fleck. I hated school as a kid. And you know what he is? A clown. And Ali London, I mean they already are one. Okay, look, I get that they just went under surgery and are all bruised up, but I just find it funny because Ollie's literally got the Voldemort nose. I don't feel I identify as male or female. I just feel like I'm just in the middle. Um, and my pronouns are they, them, Korean Jimin. Korean Jimin. Korean <laughs> They, them, Korean Jimin. Okay. Interesting. Does Ollie not understand that having a certain eye type does not make you Korean? I mean, with that logic, my shirt's got black and white stripes on it that I'm pretty much the next Marty from Madagascar. Being Korean means learning the language, learning the culture, eating the food, engaging with the community, and so much more. But the way Ollie London is treating it is nothing more than me wearing a vampire costume at Halloween and saying that I'm related to Count Dracula himself. I watched a bit of their interview on This Morning, and Ollie is even trying to train themselves to speak in a Korean accent. Now, what I want to do, I want to focus at my Korean language lessons on actually changing my accent. So mm -hmm. when I speak English, I want to actually have more of a cute like Korean sound like which is how uh, Korean people talk. So now I'm kind of trying to train my voice 
with elocution lessons to have more of a Korean accent. Is vocal surgery a thing? Because to be honest, knowing all the way London, I would not be surprised that they try to get some type of vocal surgery to make themselves sound Korean. If that does happen, I low-key hope that it goes wrong so I can no longer hear all the way London attempt to speak Korean, English, or pretty much any language for that matter. All right, so if you thought that it couldn't get any worse than all the way London pretending to be Korean, well, you're wrong. I would totally love to be Japanese for a day. Oh God, I feel like this is a joke, but then again, I mean, this is all we London we're talking about. The man has spent over $150,000 on quote unquote transracial surgery. All we London watches one Japanese anime and now thinks they're the next Edward Elric. Okay, nah, I know that this tweet is definitely because of the Olympics that are going on right now. As I'm recording this video, Japan is in third place right now with 22 gold medals, which is pretty solid. But hey, Great Britain is not too far behind in sixth place. And the fact that all these last name is literally London, like as in London, England, and the fact that they have more of a British accent than the average British person has, stick to your own country. One thing is for sure though, is that if Ollie London were to compete in the Olympics, weightlifting would definitely not be their thing. Okay, look, I respect the grind and all. Like, I appreciate that Ollie London is working out in the gym. That's a good thing. But come on, like, did you see those legs? Like, why are those things so skinny? Tell me why they look like an eight-year-old vampire child. I'm calling on at Olympics to add a sports category for lookalikes. There has probably never been anyone in the history of mankind that looks more identical to Jimin than me. I'm sure I could pick up a gold medal or two for my native country, Korea. Oh my God. This tweet just hurts my brain. First of all, looking like someone is not a sport. It's more of a beauty contest of anything. Second of all, being native means being born in that country. And third and most importantly, this creature looks nothing like Jimin. Ollie London looks like the 2015 Kylie Jenner lip challenge gone wrong. One person made a tweet comparing Ollie London to a Titan from Attack on Titan. I can't believe that I never thought of that facial similarity sooner. Okay, so speaking of Jimin, there's been rumors going on that Jimin finally reacted to Ollie London. A lot of my subscribers were telling me about it and wanted me to talk about it. And to be fair, after all these years of worshipping Jimin and marrying a literal cardboard cutout of Jimin, I mean, you'd expect that Jimin at least have heard about this guy. Especially after being featured on TMZ, Daily Mail, eTalk, and even PewDiePie himself. So there's been a lot of videos of Jimin and the rest of BTS reacting to all of London. <laughs> But I'm sorry to say that they're nothing more than clickbait. Like this one here literally says it's fan made. Yet yeah, people are still questioning if it's real. But I'm not gonna lie, although the videos are fake, they are pretty convincing and they're funny to watch. And again, even though these videos are fake and despite how big BTS is, I mean, I'm sure they've at least heard about Aoi London. And my guess is they're creeped out by him. I don't know how many Canadian viewers I have, but when I was a child, there was this one person, his name was Luca Minata. He was this... I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about it. He was just this killer, this very bad guy. Let me just give a bit of a backstory with, you know, making this PG. Um, this guy was so obsessed with an Asian man that he, um, let's just say, put him to sleep, if you know what I mean, and then um, had a good dinner. And the fact that Ollie London and this guy look so much alike, it terrifies me. And if Ollie London's only been obsessed with Jimin and BTS in Korea for eight years, what happens in 16 years? What happens in 24 years? I, I, I do not want to find that out. This honestly has been some next level stalker type of shit. And I kind of am worried for Jimin, BTS, Korean people, and just everyone in general. Anyway guys, I've had enough of reacting and roasting all the way London. So if you did enjoy my video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want me to make more videos on all the way London or people who are similar to all the way London, leave a comment, let me know. But anyways, that's officially gonna do it. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Yeah, but anyways, it's officially gonna. Ow, oh, fuck. I took my hand off that. Mmm.